All right, it is 5.30 and it is 112, feels like temperature here in Texas. It is unbelievably hot and has been for a while. But one of the things that comes with that is afternoon rain showers. And sometimes if you watch these storms, they'll come and dump a ton of water in one area. And one of those storms put a lot of water into a pond that I love to fish that had weeds all the way up to the top and you couldn't really fish it. And then those weeds ended up with four inches of water on top of them. And so it made it the perfect time to break out the Berkeley Chapo MF Frog. All right, some of my favorite things about the Berkeley Chapo. One, it lasts forever. We've had this one since they first came out. This was like right after the Chapo came out. The wires on them don't get bent like I've had with the Whopper Plopper. They stay solid. The other thing is it continues to make that same loud sound. It tends to make more noise to me than the Whopper Plopper does, which is something I enjoy. The other thing that I love about it is I just love topwaters. And this is an easy one to fish. Sometimes I fish it popping it like a frog would swim. And sometimes I just fish it straight retrieve. And that's what I do today. Fish absolutely love it. I hope you enjoy it. I know I love fishing. I am kind of excited this morning, y'all. It's me and the egret. And that's it. And it looks like the water came up. So we're gonna have a little bit of water over the top of the weeds, which gives me the opportunity to use the chapo. Because right underneath the surface in this pond, it is nothing but weeds. Oh, what a beautiful morning. Got that one. Come back for it again. Good. Right, drill. Oh, that was a hit. And there it is. Wow, I love it. Little bitty dudes, though. I want a big one. Just they stayed patient, you know. He came after it, came after it again. Sometimes there's followers when you catch one in that place. That's a fat little bass. All right, I'm walking around to the other side where there was a huge splash, but I don't want to neglect to fish an area that often has big fish moving in it. Uh, it seems crazy, but this is a big mistake I think a lot of anglers make that are bank fishing. Walk right up there next to the edge on a bank that you're going to fish. And it alerts all the fish. Does it make them harder to catch for a long time? I don't know. But if it makes them just a little bit harder to catch, that's the difference between catching one and not catching one. He looks at it once, moves away. I see perch on beds. I don't see bass. I'm even slowing down my movement a little bit. So when you got a pond with grass in it like this, you just look for the little dark pockets. You cast way past them and you come through them. And that's where you hope to have a monster just hiding underneath. Oh. <coughs> <laughs> or come out of the side of the bank. Yes. That was a great take, man. Great take. Covered up in a clump of hydrilla. It is very important when fishing with multiple treble hooks to have a good pair of needle nose pliers so that you don't leave with a handful of hooks. Came right out. That's a good looking little bass. Early morning. These fish sure look pretty in this morning light. And that was a lot of fun to catch him. He came out from the bank and just smashed it. Boom. 
soon as it landed. That was a defensive strike. Super fire little fish, man. Oh my goodness, you're kidding me. <laughs> Some green sunfish. Check that out, aggressive little dude. Choke it. Got another one. At this point, the Chapo Bite and the GoPro batteries died, so I switched to the Z-Man Chatterbait. Sometimes I like using the big thumping tail action of a paddle tail swim bait, but in conditions like this, I like to use the more subtle zoom fluke as a trailer on the Chatterbait. Alright, took that Chatterbait right in the mouth. And clean, good little fish. All right, nice little fish. Let's let it go. All right, so I'm fixing to throw the Zoom Fluke watermelon seed. Um, it's the plainest one that I have. It's just plain old with some black flecks in it. Better fish. Took that fluke. Deep. Got it out nice and clean. It's a nice bass in the morning. All right, on the Zoom Super Fluke. Got a nice little bass. Let him go. One thing about the Zoom Super Flukes is they do tear up quickly. So you have to replace them quite often. But it's because they're tender and juicy. Another one on the Zoom Super Fluke. Fat. Look, look how fat he is. It's ridiculous. Look how fat that is. Crazy. Fat little. Oh, that's ridiculously fat. <laughs> fat little bass.